Lisa asks, where are we at timeline-wise for the end times? AKA, this is Judgment Day. Let's get into this. One thing we need to remember about Judgment Day and the book of Revelations is that Revelations is like, oh, here's a start time way in the future from when it was written and, you know, it'll be all done within a few years or whatever not. Revelation started unfolding right after Jesus Christ ascended into the heavens. So whenever you see the, the scroll, the seals open up, releasing the uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse, they've been riding for almost 2,000 years now. They've, they've just been doing their thing. And so it isn't like we're waiting for the first seal to open up or anything like that. So that's the first thing we need to keep in mind as to where we're at in the end times. Now, one possibility is that we're already down to the vials of wrath and getting ready to have the last one poured out. Uh, when you get to the vials of wrath, it says that the angel will pour out his vial on the great river Euphrates and it will dry up. Well, we currently see the great river Euphrates drying up for the first time in written history. Now, yes, there's geopolitical reasons as to why it's drying up right now, but that doesn't negate the fact that there could be spiritual things behind it as well, or spiritual meaning behind it, or God was saying, or what John saw when he was watching the revelation being provided to him, that the river was drying up. But John didn't know the cause of the drying up when he wrote it down. He just saw an angel pour out a vial and the river dried up. Who knows? The angel's vial could be what's causing the political problems that are causing the river Euphrates to dry up currently. But regardless, when that river dries up, it's time for Armageddon. The Battle of Armageddon is supposed to ensue next. So it could be that far into Revelation already, which would mean the Antichrist is now in the past. The Mark of the Beast is now in the past. But regardless of your interpretation of all that stuff, there's still something more important to realize. And it's to realize that Revelation is supposed to be a book of hope. It's not meant to scare you. It's meant to give the Christian hope that despite all the calamities and evils that occur in the world, eventually Jesus is going to return. He's going to remove all the evil. He is going to take us away from all the evil. Evil is going to be punished, and we are going to be rewarded. That's the ultimate thing you should be getting out of Revelation. So I myself, I look forward to the end of it because that means eventually all this evil is going to be gone, and we're going to be taken home to heaven to be with the Lord for the rest of eternity.